We lock chapter 14, getting some I-stem nouns of the third declension, as well as uses of the ablative, which we've, you know, we're already really accounted for, but we'll look at those in more detail. Now, these I-stem nouns of the third declension, obviously they have third declension endings, but the difference is that sometimes they have a stem where the I carries over into, you know, in front of some of the endings, and sometimes they don't. So here with Rex is our normal third conjugate, excuse me, third declension endings. So uh, no ending in the nominative, you just learn the form of the nominative, and then is, e, m, a, ace, um, ibis, ace, ibis. Here is a uh, I stem noun, uh, kiwis, citizen, and let's look at what he looks like. So uh, normal endings, is, e, m, a, ace, but then he has this eum. Instead of kiwum, it's kiwium in the genitive plural. So regum, genitive plural, kiwium, genitive plural. But then all the rest are the same. Look at mare. This is neuter, and it means see. So mare, maris, mare, mare, mari. So it has an I in the ablative singular, and it has an I, uh, marium, in this genitive. So I should really make this one bold as well to show that it's kind of odd. And uh, wis, wis, meaning force. Wis, wis, we, wem, we. So there's my odd ablative. And then again, my weirium, my odd genitive plural. So you should make, you know, you should make uh, cards to study these. You know, you can use the, the ones that, that Wheelock has on page 114. Um, Kiwis, new base. Kiwis and new base are the same, so just use one of those. And, or, and then use mare, um, this irregular one, weis is kind of odd, meaning force or strength, and then urps for city. Um, but again, city is, is really just like uh, kiwium. Kiwis, nubes, and urps operate the same way. Mare operates a little differently uh, along with wis. So you'll want to make flashcards as you need to be able to recognize those forms and reproduce those forms and, and so forth. And then his discussion on page 115 gives you, you know, a way of recognizing some of these nouns, uh, these I-stem nouns. You can read through them, but um, they won't give you too much trouble. Just make those appropriate flashcards and study up on them. As far as the on page 116, the ablative of means or instrument and the ablatives of accompaniment and manner, by all means, read those sections. But we've kind of already done this. If you're, let's just review very quickly what um, our plan is for when it comes to the cases. We know that the nominative is the subject. We translate the genitive when it's all by itself. We just translate with the word of. We translate the dative. Well, we know that's often the indirect object. And when it's off by itself, we translate it with two or four. The accusative, we know that's the direct object. And the ablative, we've been saying translate with by or with or from. And as you're gonna see after you read through what Wheelock has to say on pages 116 and 117, you know, ablative means, manner, mode, that's all covered by the English prepositions by, with, or from. That's why we, we learn to do those. Okay, uh, make your cards for those third declension I stem nouns off of page 114. Make your cards for your vocabulary. Good chunk of vocabulary on this lesson, so uh, set yourself apart some time for that. And then uh, do when you're comfortable, do translations one and three. Numbers one and number three on pages on page 118. And then get back on the next video to get the translation corrected.